What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what is the most common problem or transmission issue with this type of generation of Camry. Um, so basically let me explain it for you guys so you guys understand what I'm doing and what I'm replacing. Uh, basically it's a torque converter shutter. What happens is upon lockup, right, right around 40 miles per hour you get this really bad shutter, right? And um, basically what causes that is a bad torque converter. So in this video, we're gonna be replacing the torque converter, the rear main seal, the front pump seal, and the trans fan gasket. So yeah, make sure to sit back, relax. It's a little longer video, I think it's like eight minutes or so. So sit back, relax, enjoy it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this GoPro footage type thing. And if you guys do enjoy it, leave a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Next video, next video, um, I will be announcing the winner of the taillights. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and I will Make sure that you get a DM by me to uh, get your address so I can ship them out to you. So, yeah, enjoy the video, guys. All right, guys, so we removed the axles, the sway bar links, and that bolt that holds the sway bar, or sorry, the steering rack through on both sides. Go ahead and take off the, uh, take off the torque converter bolts really quick. Uh, we did it on this side as well. We did everything. Sway bar, did sway bar, we did the lower ball joint, everything down there. And now we're gonna go ahead and go up and do the torque converter bolts.
Alright guys, so we got the trans down. That's the torque converter we're gonna be replacing. And we're also gonna be replacing the rear end seal that goes behind this. So we're gonna take these bolts out and then there's a seal, then throw these back on, lock tight, stuff like that. And there's a seal on the other side of this that we're gonna go ahead and replace. So let's get to work, boys. torqued down i don't know if i showed you guys because my camera died but we got all these torqued down to 61. we replaced that rear main seal also we lube up the dial pins there and there so that when the trans comes together it actually assembles a lot easier and then we got the torque converter move this up too so that when it goes in it just comes back in together there's also this bracket here there's two pins for that one on the block right there these two pins will be looped up as well and everything should be able to go back in together so let's go ahead and uh, get to this assembly and we're almost through okay, so right now we have the subframe back up trans went back in trans bolts lined up all good now we're lining up the motor mounts through the subframe so we can actually bolt up the subframe get all these screw jacks out the way so let's go ahead and do that and then what's next after this should be the exhaust and then that should be it so yeah that's what we're, we're working with right now we got everything back together exhaust all the suspensions back together these three bolts don't forget those uh when we do one of these kits we always replace the trans pan gasket with a torque converter and we replace the magnets inside uh, that's just how toyota says to go about it so i'm going to go ahead and take this trans pan off clean it all off do a new gasket new magnets and you guys are going to be watching me so let's get to that Alright guys, so we are in the car. We're gonna do a quick alignment after this, but for this, Toyota says we have to update it when the torque converter is replaced. So we're gonna go ahead and update that. And then it's almost done. We got a minute left, but yeah, we gotta do the alignment. I'm not gonna record that because it's just an alignment. Um, and then after that, I can test drive it, make sure it's shifting good, make sure it drives good. There's no leaks, which is a good thing. And then yeah, that's about it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Uh, this is more of a, of a, how do I say, more of what I do at work. It's sort of like what I do at work. So this is basically what it is, you know, uh, big work like this, or it can be oil changes all day. So if you guys did enjoy, like I said, leave a like, subscribe. We're almost at 300. Subscribe, uh, comment, let me know what you guys think. If you guys like the GoPro footage, I'll keep doing it. And uh, yeah, peace.